So in this lesson, we're going to be searching our Gmail and then returning back the attachments and logging those attachments using Google Apps Script into a brand new spreadsheet. We're going to create a script that we're going to get the attachment details from our Google G Drive and then we're going to log that information into a spreadsheet. So go ahead and create a function and get attachments. So this is a function where we're going to get the attachments from the Gmail. So go ahead and set that up. Selecting the threads, then using the Gmail app. Let's go ahead and we're going to search the Gmail app. And this is a way to do it similar to what we would have when we're doing the regular search. So we want to search for any that has an attachment. So if we do has attachment here, it's going to return back all of the ones that have attachments. So same as we do the search up here, we do the same thing within the Google script. And then uh, let's use the log and we'll see how many threads that we're able to pick up. And we need to accept permissions once again, because the script is asking for additional permissions that haven't been provided yet for the script. So there's our Gmail threads. There's the three that the same three that we picked up within the search results. And now we can loop through it and we get, can get some of the details from those threads. So looping through and let's use the for each. So that will pick up each individual thread. And these are objects. The threads are going to be objects. So in order to get the messages from the thread, so a thread can contain messages, get the thread and then get and then these are all the values that we can get. So we want to get all the messages within the thread and output the message object into the log. And this is just for uh, debugging. So we've got all of these Gmail messages and there's only one message in each one of the threads. So sometimes if you've got responses and so on, you're going to get more messages into the thread. So as we go through the messages, we can loop through each one of those. And I know that in this case, we only have just the one, but this will make the script more flexible. And instead of logging out the messages, we'll just log out each message and we'll see what we got there. So run the script again. And then we've got a Gmail message at this point. And then we can apply the message parameters where we can get the attachments. So at this point, we can get the attachments and I'll just call it admins. Uh, so for the message, then we can get the attachments. And this is also going to be an array. And one of them, we did notice that there's multiple attachments. So this will get all of the attachments within all of the emails. So there we've got the Gmail attachments. And these are arrays also. So we could do something like this where we do the length. So within here, this is where we can use the object methods where we can get things like the name, the size, and so on, some of the details of the attachments. So there we've got the names of the attachments. So here, let's go ahead and we're going to create a brand new sheet that we can log the content into. We need to select the spreadsheet. So using the spreadsheet app, open by ID, and then we can specify the ID value. And I'll just set this uh, ID value here within the function itself. So there's the ID that we're using. And I like to lowercase it unless I have a global value. So get the ID. So that's going to select the spreadsheet object for that ID. And then we want to create a sheet. So within the spreadsheet, insert a sheet. And then for the sheet, let's set a name for the sheet and set the name attachments. So it's going to be logging out all of the attachments. And then here we can create an array in order to add the content into the sheet and going through what we're able to pick up from the sheet itself for the attachment. So let's uh, start out by setting a name for the attachment and then we can get the other parameters, whatever else we want to get. So we can get the size of it and there's also a number of other items that we can get. So we can get the bytes. So it give us some information and then take the sheet and append row and append the row of the new data that we've just picked up. So let's run that. 
So it's coming in as an object there, and the bytes is actually being returned back as an object. So let's update this to grab something else, and we can get the content type. And we already have one called attachments, so it's actually going to throw an error on that. Let's run it again, and now it creates the attachments sheet, and it tells us what type of content it is. So that's how you can get that's how you can get your attachments from your Gmail account.